Hey everyone, today I want to talk about the Sony PlayStation Net Yeruz. I think I'm saying it right. Yeruze? Yeruz? I'm going to call it Yeruz. <laughs> uh, so, uh, this right here is a PlayStation 1 development kit. It was originally geared towards young developers at the time, and I think it came out around 1996 uh, in Japan and then in other countries 1997, if I'm not mistaken. And what makes it so special, well, right away, <laughs> it's a black PlayStation 1. Uh, it looks really cool. I mean, uh, the coating is like a matte black, like kind of like a, uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's leave it at matte black. I was going to say gun metal, but no, this is, I like matte black. Like, I guess a description for that. Um, the finish is really smooth. Uh, it's definitely a different texture of plastic, which uh, feels really good, especially when you're holding a controller like this one. Um, I don't think they ever made these in uh, DualShock, so I think it's just the regular standard, you know, uh, launch PlayStation 1 controller. As you can see there, there's the, the model number DTL H3010. So uh, these, unit, uh, these units, like I said, they were released in um, Europe, US, Japan. Uh, this one in particular is the US version, so the NTSC uh, US. Um, the, the model number, I think, is DTL H3001. I think I got that right. <laughs> and... Um, I believe this model is actually based off of the um, an earlier model, like definitely before the 5000 series because, well, I'll show you in a second, but it has a lot of the ports that were um, in those older models in the back. So, speaking of the back, here it is. Uh, you know, you have your power right here, uh, your multi-AV out, um, composite, and uh, left, right, RCA. Uh, there's no S-Video here. I think the Japanese version has the uh, S-Video um, here. The serial I.O. And then, you know, the parallel I.O. is back here too, which, you know, if you were using it for, you know, consumer use, you'd be using this for like, I don't know, like your Game Shark or something, a code breaker, I don't know. Um, so what makes this so special? Well, as I mentioned, it's a development kit. So basically what would happen is the entire kit, which I think was made to order uh, specifically to, um, I don't know, it, it, it wasn't available for consumer use per se, but I think you had to put an order in. It was, it was around like, I don't know, I want to say like $800 when it came out. But people were uh, using this specific, you know, debugging kit, basically, or development kit, and hooking it up to your PC. Uh, what, how, that would, how that would go is um, you'd have a cable coming out of your serial I.O., or serial port going into your PC, and then you'd have a disk inside, and then an access card as well. Uh, this isn't the access card, by the way. It's just a regular black uh, Japanese PS1 memory card. And I got the black, you know, to match the whole color scheme. And, uh, yeah, the rest of the kit came with, like, discs and instruction booklets and, like, how to, like, develop, you know, any software that you want to use and play it here. Um, right off the bat, I should say this, like, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to be showing, like, its basic features that, you know, an everyday consumer would be using. Basically, just, like, the region-free it wouldn't be anything else, really. There's plenty of videos that talk about um, the software development side of this, and I highly recommend like you looking them up on YouTube if you want to know further information about that. So, yeah, uh, basically what I'm going to be showing, uh, just a quick demonstration of uh, its region-free capabilities. I'm just going to play a U.S. and a Japanese game. Unfortunately, I don't have any European games to show, so I'm just going to keep it at that, but I'm 100% sure that this is able to play PAL region games as well. 
Uh, one interesting thing to note also, unlike other debugging kits, uh, this one in particular uh, does not play bootleg backups or CDRs or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I believe they did that so they can have the developers strictly stay on, you know, just developing and not anything else. Uh, the other kits, like the PS1s that look blue and green, those, I believe, play uh, CDRs or backups, but this one definitely doesn't. And I'm okay with that because I, um, you know, I like my official games. I'm not really into, like, bootlegging, so this fits the boot for me. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm going to show just a U.S. game and a uh, Japanese game. So, I have Crash Bandicoot 3 that I'll show off first. Oop, that popped out. The, I guess this is like a little loose, that's why it pops out, but whatever. All right, let's turn some stuff on here. So one thing to note, you'll see it. Uh, you'll know you're playing you're playing an English game when it says Sony Computer Entertainment of America, or I mean a U.S. game. <laughs> and then the game will remind you, of course. <laughs> Yep, so, um, by the way, if I didn't mention, uh, I'm running uh, HD Retrovision component cables into my, uh, you know, my switcher and then out into my uh, D24, so that's what it looks like. Okay. So now I'm going to show that I could play Japanese games as well. Right here I have Rockman X3, if my thing can focus, great. <laughs> uh, I need a second hand for this one, let's see. Oh, I got it. There you go. <laughs> and you can see it's uh, NTSCJ. Uh, sorry for the flicker. And then right here on the boot screen, you see licensed by Sony Computer Entertainment Inc. So that's how you know you're playing a Japanese game. So I don't know. I... I know people don't really like the PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn ports of Mega Man X3 or Rockman X3, however you want to call it. I like it. Uh, I like the anime cutscenes in it. It's really cool. Um, Gameplay-wise, it's the same. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't notice any difference, but uh, I think the only thing that really people are critical about is the, um, the music and the sounds. They're different. So... 
I mean, come on, this is so cool, <laughs> you know? Let's show some, let's show some gameplay really quick. There you go. Yeah, there it is. So, yeah, that's the Sony PlayStation One Net Yeru's. Um, Again, you know, um, it's just a, a really cool console to have, I think, if you're going to just, um, you know, use it for region-free gameplay. I mean, you can, look, I'll be real here, you can totally get a, a, a PS1 with a mod chip in it. They're very easy to do um, or get, like, mod chips for. I mean, you can even do it for, like, the... Um, the little PlayStation 1, like the, the mini one that comes with like the LCD screen too. You can totally go down that route. Um, I don't know. I just, I like the aesthetic. I like the fact that it's region free. And I think that was enough for me to buy it, to be honest. Um, I'm not using it at its full capabilities, but, you know, again, I just like how it looked. And, uh, you know, I just went for it. So uh, hopefully, you know, this kind of shows what it could do and uh any questions that people had about it but uh yeah if you're looking for one i would yeah i'd pick one up for sure <laughs> so uh yeah i hope you enjoy the video and uh yeah until next time